All right, guys, welcome back to the Road to Super Sonic Legends series. We're on to episode number 28, and on the last episode, I got exposed by a champ one, which was kind of ridiculous. But hope you guys enjoyed the episode so far. I love the playlist. It's been a great series so far. Um, we're currently at champ one, division two, so we're moving our way up into champ two, hopefully soon. It was crazy. Last episode, we were stuck at division two for a really long time. But uh, today we are Arsenal, and it's Arsenal looking at a fire, which I think is just hilarious. I actually come up, came up with this myself. Um, so if you do want to recommend more names and pictures, feel free to drop them in the comments. But for today, I thought I would join, uh, you know, one of my ideas into the series. I know that someone's probably recommended this one, so I apologize if I didn't notice it. You guys have just been crazy. It looks like every comment is a name and profile picture recommendation. So I love the support. I love the support for the series. I hope you guys are enjoying the episodes and I hope they're giving you what you need to rank up. Speaking of ranking up, today's video is sponsored by Rocket League Tracker plugin for Rocket League. It's a stat tracking app that integrates seamlessly with your game. When you open it up, you can see all of your important stats in your Rocket League journey. As you can see in the performance tab, you can see all the information about your shots, goals, saves, and even more about your playstyle. And you can use this information to figure out what you need to improve on. Another cool thing about this app is that when you drop into a game, you can see the stats of all of your teammates and opponents as well. It works in all the ranked playlists, extra modes, and even casual too. So if you want an easy way to find more in-depth information about your game and help refine your play and rank up, download Overwolf and the Rocket League Tracker plugin. All you have to do is press Ctrl R on your keyboard to access the app and you're good to go. If you're looking for a tool to help improve your game and want to give this a try, click the link in the description to download it now and try for yourself. Huge thanks again to Rocket League Tracker for sponsoring this video. Now let's get back into the road to Supersonic Legend. Oh, speaking of being exposed in the last episode, the guy called me out for being a smurf because my banner was not, uh, <laughs> was not anything unique. So today we're going to jump into the theme of our, our name and add some fire. So there we go. All right, we got our first game. We got Rar and New Hands versus me and Derry Vigil. Probably messed that up. Also, I realized that the guy's name in the last uh, episode or so, uh, by GME was this this new uh, <laughs> stock that just went blasted for GameStop, which is insane. But uh, we'll jump into the episode here. I'm going to pass it to the left, see if my teammate can get ready for it. He kind of uh, waited for a pretty long time there to go upfield, but ended up getting a good follow-up and the finish too. Wow, look at him go. Look at that. It wasn't the greatest of passes either, but he, was, he said great pass. He caught it pretty well off the wall there. And nice play. He's got champ, uh, champ 1 tournament winner there, season 2, so... Looking like a, a veteran of the uh, season two champ, champ one uh, rank here. I just love the name for this one. It's so funny. It's pretty. It's pretty simple, but effective. You know what I'm saying? We'll see if Ferrari's got a, a, a dribble here. Fair gonna start challenging once he gets that catch around towards net. Got a shot towards net. It's pretty dangerous. But here he's gonna jump up. I didn't get it quite in the way. I would have jumped up a little bit earlier, but I wasn't sure if my teammate wanted to turn on that. Um, right here, once uh, New Hands made that touch, I could have made a play right here, and he stopped, and that threw me off. Uh, when he's pushing up towards that wall in front of me, he could just make a pop to the side. He just probably didn't want to own goal there. Um, got caught off there, but it's okay. We're at one to one. Nice clear to the ceiling. Try to get the boost off that guy. Make sure I beat him to the boost. If he goes for the ball again, it's okay. He's low boost, and I can jump for this and pop it towards net. Might be off target, or, or not off target, but he might have been off that ball there. Um, I knew that New Hands. Uh, was coming up to cheat, as well as Rar being under the ball with no boost. So we just make a shot towards net there. Uh, Rar needs to back off once he misses that boost, because I can turn around and make a shot pretty pretty easily. Let's see if my teammate can go for... He missed the boost. He didn't get... Okay. I don't know. <laughs> that was a little bit weird. Rar might make a clear in the middle here. Seems like a pretty aggressive team so far. Great chance on goal, though. Let's throw it off to the side. We'll wait behind my teammate now. Rar's on the sidewall. Makes it clear towards the net. Now, right here, I have time to catch it to the side. Um, behind Rar there. Make a flick. I'm not going to finish that. I obviously could have, but we'll see what, what happens here. We're already up the goal. Pretty aggressive team so far, though. So, pop this off behind my the opponent. Good of him to fake that ball. And now I'll wait behind and see if my teammate goes. So, now he, he didn't go back. He went back corner, so I'm going to cut it off and make a turn. Teammate needs to make a challenge here. Good. There we go. Pretty late though. It forces a double commit. That that middle touch should be okay as long as he saves with the dribble. And then really good dribble there. Okay. Rar's gonna catch the ball. Um, he didn't get the boost, so now I can make a challenge here. Grab the boost as well. Wait behind my teammate. Good clear, but at the same time it gives me possession, so I'm just gonna turn around on this. Make a clear to the corner. 
Uh, what's even better there is I could even make a catch and then make a dribble. This is going to go out to mid for my teammate. Early touch. Could have probably caught that and dribbled a little bit to get closer to the net. But either way, it's fine. Okay, he didn't get the boost. So now we get the corner boost. And the demo actually didn't really help us there. In that situation, because the, uh, the opponent is in our corner with low boost, it's actually better to leave him. If you demo him, it sends him back to their side with 33 boost, which uh, at the higher level is actually very, very, very uh, necessary. Like, that's all you really need. I right, could go for a flip reset here. I'll go for the backflip off the wall to my teammate. Good challenge. As long as I go early, I should be able to beat that guy because he's still landing. If I wait any longer, it could be really bad for us. I gotta watch out for the demos behind me. I'll go for a pop-up. Right here, see if the new hands guy makes a challenge. He does, and I'll wait behind. See if my teammate wants to push up. It's a good try. This ball off the corner is pretty awkward. It's a good touch. Teammate didn't need to touch that because it's near the wall, but now he gives it back to the opponents. Good clear. I can follow this up, see if the guy wants to turn. He doesn't want to. So make sure to boost towards that ball. And right here, if I bump this guy, my teammate should have a free ball. And there we go. It's always good to think of uh, the next position on the ball. Not the greatest touch for my teammate. Not really necessary. Uh, we could just leave it in the corner here. Wait for him to flick it. Bump that guy off again. Still bumping him to at least give my teammate some space. Pretty hard read here, but I'll just clear it forward. The guy committed pretty hard. It should be my teammate's ball here to finish. Nice. There we go. So right there, all I did was wait for that ball to roll to me. It's not really too threatening because it's so close to the net. Um, oh, oops. Uh, oops. He's uh, he's actually <laughs> he signed it anyway. <laughs> and nice shot. I don't mean to be toxic, I swear. Get a flick over him. Just trying to take possession. Get a touch from new hands to hold on to that. 69 boost, by the way. How long can I keep the 69 boost? Let's see. The whole time. <laughs> <laughs> nice! Look at that. Oh, and that made him leave. Good pass there. Um, all I did was just wait in mid, and he outplayed the guy the last second. And uh, both of them left. They were not too happy with that one. But honestly, that was just good positioning for my teammate to make a good pass out middle. And then I get the finish. Let's move on to the next game. We get nine points there. It might be Division 3 there, I believe. Let's see. Hopefully. Come on. Oh, promotion? Oh, you trolled me. We're still Division 2. That's crazy. We've been in Division 2 for like four games. So honestly, no complaints from uh, my teammate last game. He actually played position pretty well. We got Dot on our team, so that's already suspicious. Great touch off the corner. Oh, he's going for the demo. Oh my god, look at him go. Wait for them to panic. Now we can make a touch here in the corner. Keep it close, not too hard, because then it'll we'll lose possession. Instead, we just wait behind and uh, make a touch that's close to us. Pretty dangerous. Nico could go with the wall there. That's why I want to wait here. Good touch from my teammate. Keep it off the, uh, the possession of the player. Right here, I have possession now. Try to do a flick right away. Pop it up nice and high. Almost in. See if my teammate can finish it. Nice. There we go. So there, I'm just waiting for my my, uh, my teammate to be near me and supporting me. And then I make a flick. Um, it didn't have to be too high um, or on target, really. Just uh, enough that it's pressuring him and pops over that last defender. Uh, that last defender has to shadow. Wait, this guy is high? Alright, let's get a 50-50 here. We are first on the team, so it's not too dangerous. Good boost steal from the opponent. But I still have like 30-odd 30, 30 boost, which is like I said, is all you need. That's a good dunk. The guy's probably going to make a touch here. Ends up getting a miss. What I'll do is I'll pop off the wall first. And see if they make a touch. One, one They both double committed. Pop it up nice and high. Probably gave it back to the opponent, honestly, but it's pretty far for it to be that threatening. Works out pretty well. Oh my god, my teammate's going for it. And, okay. <laughs> I thought they hit the other guy own gold. Okay, let's get some boost here in the corner. i pop it around him. Flick it up. Pretty uh, complex flick there, but um, didn't really get us too much there, so no one's going to complain. Take the shot. Now, this guy's... This guy's on it, man. <laughs> Dude, this guy's this guy's full gung ho. I'm gonna go around the opponents here and then get the boost if I can. Not the greatest position, dude. This guy just goes for everything. Hop over one. I'll go for a pass here off the back. Okay, no, never mind. Oh, I will go for a pass. Okay, it wasn't there. That's the one he doesn't go for. <laughs> Not the greatest touch. It goes up to mid uh, with that corner bounce. I'm speed. See if my teammate wants to bump him or something. There we go. Good steal by Nico. 
pop off the corner. I know that you guys mentioned in the last episode that my touches seem to have too much intention, which I can agree with, but at the same time, I'm trying to recommend what you should be doing, not just, not just you know, blending in fully. I'm trying to... Sh oh, no, this guy's... Oh, this guy's being toxic. Oh, no. <laughs> we see ones, baby! <laughs> What's the challenge? Oh. He's AFK. Oh my god. Guys, chill. <laughs> what? This is my bad. Oh my god. <laughs> what is happening? This guy is so toxic. <laughs> He's a bath bee. Um, this might be a, uh, a rip here. It's all good, man. It's all good. It's just champ one. Uh, do we go next or do we play for the... Do we do what we did last time? Play for the other team. Someone didn't... Whoa, 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 whoa. <laughs> Too far, man. What is happening? Dude. <laughs> oh, my God. These both need to be reported right now. This is insane, dude. <laughs> that might be the worst case of toxicity so far. I got to style on these kids for being toxic. Oh, I just flicked it in the crossbar. I just Athena, <laughs> Athena flicked. <laughs> close one, close one. Dude, these guys are just... These guys are having, having a heyday over here. I think we should go next. This is just devolved into what a saves. Okay. <laughs> Let's add into the madness. Well, I mean, I don't know. I don't know what to say, honestly. Like, imagine being this toxic in Champ One. This is even worse than the Diamond video. All right. Needless to say, that was the most toxic game we've experienced so far in the series. Uh, if you guys experience stuff like that, oh, this is, of course, this is the Division Three rank up, of course. Oh my goodness. If you guys experience this too often, I am so sorry. But uh, that guy was just so mad. All right. Let's move on to the next game. All right. I, I got. We got. I eat milkmen on my team, and we got Kung Fu Zen and Mr. Apples. You know, hopefully uh, this game's a little calmer. You know, he's got some zen in his name, so it's a good start. All right, decent touch, I guess. He keeps possession, but I'm kind of being swarmed right now. He could even go to goal here. Oh, that was close. There we go. Kind of works out. My teammate makes a dribble here. Start to pull it in. Field kind of lost control, but that's okay. Good bump as well. So right here, I'm going to take the corner and then back off. Kind of makes a touch. As not too dangerous. I want to back off all the way. Even I could just stay here and posture. Good clear. So Mr. Apples has possession. I'll push up here and just try to make a challenge. Since he doesn't have full control yet. And they lose control there on that touch. So now I eat Milkman can uh, fall mid. A great backboard. They jump up for it. So now I can make a shot. That's a really good position to be in. Just wait for my teammate to make that flick. Good touch off the sidewall. And then a good touch off the backboard as well. So two consistent touches. Once again, I want to reward that. I want to be in a good position um, off the side there. Milkman looking pretty good so far in this episode. Um, all my teammates have been honestly pretty decent. Um, <laughs> the opponents, uh, not so much. I, they're fine. It's just that... that oh. 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 <laughs> that guy stopped moving. I felt too bad. Going to be in a good position. Good 50-50. Teammates still not back yet, so I'll be a little careful. Teammate, uh, the opponent lost control of that dribble. You really want to find those openings when they lose control to, to jump in. And that's that red light, green light once again. Um, right there, I can see he lost control a little bit. And that's just me knowing like what someone's capable of with the ball. If this guy goes again, it's not too dangerous in the corner. I'm just going to back off and wait for my teammate. Uh. 
<laughs> I don't know what just happened. But we're going to stay with this ball. See if I can pass this middle. Pop in middle. It ended up going to my, the opponent, which is fine. But my teammate keeps the pressure on. Good aerial too. Good chance. Pop it up. Oh, great shot. Nice one. So there I was just trying to keep pressure. I wasn't really like, trying to score or anything. It pops up over the backboard um, because that guy committed. And then my teammate gets a really sneaky, cheeky touch right there. And uh, honestly, didn't really... Uh, it caught caught the opponents by surprise. Good 50-50. Probably gets another 50-50. Actually beats up my, my teammate and gets a shot. Oh, he missed it. But it just rolled in. That's a good play off the kickoff. Gets a good cancel and then a good follow-up. My teammate made a direct line to the shot. Um, or to the ball, and he needs to make a little bit, uh, you know, of a safer trip towards the ball by going towards the uh, the net a little bit more too, so we can cover both both options. Right here, a good demo from the opponent. He drops the ball. That's when I can go for it pretty safely. I'm gonna stay with it if I can. Get a good control. That just takes some time to get used to. Get a demo here and then back off. This guy's really consistent with his shooting. Nice. Really good job. Those those tight corners are, are harder than you expect, and, and it's also an open net, so it's a little more stressful. But he's uh he's really getting those angles down, which is really really good. He's finishing off that touch. Good play by me to get the demo in the corner too, just following up the uh, the pressure. We're kind of like taking over this series so far this episode. Um, but look at him go. Teammates like doing doing a really good job. I'll back off here. Teammate or the opponent's panicking. It's a good shot. Good try. A little bit scary if the opponent waited a little bit longer for a good position. Uh, could have been a lot more dangerous. Right there, I could have tipped it off backboard, but I decided to roll it. We're up through two goals. Don't want to do too much crazy stuff. Just trying to wait for my teammate. That's a pretty good touch. Pop it off the backboard. Good demo. Really relieves the pressure. Right here, the opponent might go. Just going to wait. Let's go behind. That's a bad touch, but can still stay with it. Trying to stay consistent while also not showing my, like, super consistencies. So, just trying to, you know, make touches that aren't super efficient, but still, like, the right idea. See if we can stay with this. Pass this middle if I can. Teammate wasn't quite ready for it. They both attack, so now i got to move back behind my teammate. Really good follow-up. Ends up missing, though. So, once again, I'm last. So I don't want to challenge too early. Decent. My teammate should have this. Got some space for a dribble. Good pop, too. Had a lot more time to work with that ball, but he ends up jumping. You can see that when you're on the ground, you're a lot more threatening a lot of the times. Right here, I gotta go early because the opponent might make a touch. He does make a good touch. Good try on the finish, too. He ends up missing. Pop off the sidewall. I get demoed here if I don't jump. He still stays with it. Good pass, too. A little bit of a premature uh, flip on that. Oh, my God. Let's keep it, keep it up. Oh, nice. Pop it forward. Pop off backboard. My teammate wasn't quite there. Oh, wait, let's see if we can get a zero second play here. Good touch from Apples. Oh, let's go. We're keeping it up. Keeping it up. No, we're not. <laughs> well, I hope you guys enjoyed that episode. We're Division 3 now, which is good. We're getting closer and closer to Champ 2. Um, you know, a bit of toxicity in this episode, but you know, sometimes it's a little funny, it's a little entertaining. Um, but I hope you guys enjoyed the uh, the educational content as always. Oh, look at that, a rocket rocket pass tier up number seven, lucky number seven. Uh, but until next time, I hope you guys are enjoying this series. Uh, we'll catch you guys in the next one.